Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of the Fixed Perspective Scroller that we're making and today I'm going to show you how I make a transition state for making my animations uh, and my attack animation so we're going to do we're going to start doing the attack function so I'm going to do I'm going to be going a little bit quicker than usual just so because this is actually just so you can learn from what I do it's not like a in-depth tutorial and if you want some if you have some questions you can always ask me in the comments so I'm going to create an empty state and I'm going to change the name to transition and what I want to do is instead of relating each state to each other I'm going to tra uh, relate every state to the transition state so I'm going to get rid of this and this and we're going to connect this to this and this to this and this to this and this to this and we also will have attack so let's add that right now uh, we have the animations we have the attack animation here so I'm going to have these three animations and I want them to be all connected through the transition state that I made so to be to go from transition to idle we are going to use the um, condition when it's equals to zero and for charge we said it was equals to one and from uh, transition to attack we're going to use the number two now the tricky thing is that we have the condition to go from transition to all the other states and how we want to go from those states to the transition state is giving it a condition when it's not equal to the condition they require so for example idle requires zero so whenever the condition is not zero we're going to jump to transition and then transition is going to jump to the uh, corresponding animation so in this case uh, if we press 2 2 is not equal to 0 so it will go to transition then transition will see okay where should I go 2 and then you go here okay so here we the condition from attack to back to transition should be not equal to 2 and from charge back to transition should be not equal to 1 so this will allow us to go back and forth from every animation so actually we can try this now here with changing the condition here in the top left corner oh wait uh, we have to remove the has exit time first so I want everything to not have a exit time because if it has exit time we need to wait for the animation to be completed in order to be able to transit to the next state and we don't want that okay and now let's try it again so we're going to entry and transition and wait where are we player okay so we're in charge animation because the condition is one right here and if we change the condition to let's say zero you see because it's zero it's not equal to one so it goes to transition and it go back to zero and then we can say two and we attack and one and we run but it's a little bit slow so we have to change the transition and you see here the transition has a little timeline we want to reduce this to as small as possible so the transition is much much faster uh, than if we don't do it so something like that and if we try now we should jump very fast from transition to the other other state so i'm going to attack and then we attack and then i'm going to back, go back to zero or go back to one and then there we have it so now we're using the transition we can easily go from any animation to any other animation now I was doing some stuff on the player controller so I ed ed edit a attack function so it's very simple what I did is just uh, I made a function void attack and then we're going to set an integer in the animator uh, condition 2 and we return uh, why do we return I don't know why we return we don't need to return <laughs> and here in the get input I made a attack input so whenever we input dot get mouse button down so when we left click we are going to attack we print attacking just for debug purposes so if we play this it should be something that we're running actually oh yeah um, 
So right now it's like this: we attack and then we stop moving. So well, we we still have to tidy um, tidy this a little bit because right now we need this to uh, stop the running animation whenever we stop running. But you see, the problem is that if I do it and I attack, my condition is immediately reverted to zero, so you you won't see the 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 attack animation. So we have to think of a way to separate both cases. Okay, so what we can do that is that instead of setting the animation back to idle here on move on every frame, we can actually set it back here when we get the key up. Okay, so when we get the key up, that means we stop running, right? We stop running in that direction. So we're going to set it there and try if it works. And of course, in the future, we have to implement a more elegant solution. So I run and I stop, I run, I stop, I attack. So I can do all my animations. I can't attack while I'm running though. Why? Because I am constantly... Um, so here in move, same happens. If the velocity is not zero, that means I'm running. I'm constantly setting the condition to one. So we don't see the attack animation. Um... One thing we can do is um, we could have some booleans and let's say if I am attacking then I don't I don't, I don't run this part of the script and, and it will only run until we stop attacking. So for that we are going to just simply make a boolean and we're going to make this more elegant in the future but right now I just want to have something that works and then I will uh, work around it to make it uh, more efficient and better so I'm going to call this private boolean here and it, this is very very useful when we have a class with different with different uses for example uh, this class we can do, uh, do this header and we open parentheses and we give it a title this is movement uh, this is not movement, so we put it up there. We have movement, and he down here we have another header, and this header will be for combat. There you go. And here we have a private boolean uh, attacking. So attacking means that we are that is the time we need for our animation, uh, our attack animation to complete. So when we attack we want to set this to true and turn it off after maybe one second that's uh, the duration of our attack so here in uh, under attack I'm going to make a call routine so I'm going to make an I enumerator and I have a video explaining I enumerators so if you don't know what is this go and check it out I'm going to call it attack routine and what this is going to do it's going to set attacking to true and then it's going to wait for a few seconds maybe one second yield return new wait for seconds and we're going to wait for one second and then we're going to set back the attacking to false so we're not longer attacking and now in the here in move function in the move function we're going to make an um, if if the um, if attacking is not true so if we're not attacking okay if we're not attacking then we're going to set the animation to be running okay so let's try this right now we come oh did we oh we didn't even call that function here so we have to start call routine and we just call attack routine oh yeah we didn't give the parentheses to that okay now we are going to try this I run I run and I can attack the problem is that I keep moving when I'm playing the attack animation which is not good because uh, we don't want that unless our attack is like um, an animation that runs and attack at the same time 
or we could use the different layers for the animator but I don't want to teach you that yet because it's a little bit more advanced so what we can do is make our character stop moving if it's attacking so uh, we have our move function here if velocity mm -hmm, and else and actually we can have this up here so we're going to set the animator and we're also going to move the position so if we try it now we run and we attack and then we can keep running after we attack oh this is interesting because we do this we call the core routine many times so then it gets set back to false many times so here we also have to check that if so if attacking if attacking is occurring then we will return that means we we cancel this function we don't keep running this function we just return the control to the next part of the script so if we try now we run we click and we fix that so we can even if we press so many times we only can slash a couple times so pretty much that's it I think um, yeah we're going to add some enemies so we can slash but for that my friends we're going to have to wait for the next video which I hope I can upload as soon as possible right now it's 2 a.m. you see I've uploading these videos at 2 a.m. every day I I just had a whole day of facing unity at the office because uh, I'm I'm actually I'm working now for a company we're working a project using unity so when I get back home, I'm, I, I don't want to look at the code anymore. So I have to wait a couple hours until I can get into coding again. So, but anyway, I enjoy making this video, so it's nice. Um, oh yeah, and we can, we cannot repeat that. Ah, uh huh. I found another bug. So yeah, I'm gonna fix this later too, and I will show you on the next video. But right now, you can try doing your transition and changing through different through different animations if you have many and just try to see if you can fix this by yourself we still have a couple bugs here but it's going pretty well i think so thank you guys for watching remember to please give me a like and subscribe to my youtube channel that really helps me a lot i will see you on the next video goodbye peace